trying to do abs to help my lower back now. Is that Brett? It's Brett squatting. Is only five plates? That's six plates. The whole side of the gym just stopped and watched. For yeah. gym pays respect to heavy lifts. Come on! Come on, Chris! Come on! Come on! What is up, YouTube? Welcome to a blistering hot day. I was gonna swear, but I'm not doing the Bean Amici videos now. Blistering hot day in Florida. Our AC broke for the 20th time at the warehouse. So our floors were slippery, wet with condensation, and it was fucking hot as hell today. And I can't function in the heat right now because I'm fat as fuck right now. Last night I was like 267 pounds at night. Morning weight's like 262, 263, so I'm just like not built for heat right now. I'm just fucking fat and slow and ready to diet, honestly. So it's starting up soon, but tonight was a beautiful arm day. Some nice deads yesterday. My back's feeling toasted and good day for an iron base. I'll well, feed my core all. I'm gonna start with the same old bullshit and then maybe branch in some different exercises because I've been doing the same fucking exercises for a long time. For them. So, see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, that feels fucking heavy. I haven't done heavy straight bar curls in forever. I'm still not the easy bar. But on my last back day, I did a few sets of these to finish up back day. And I felt like a really good mind and muscle connection with my biceps. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna switch it up this bicep day and do a heavier set. So I'm really trying to just focus on controlling it down. Not just like 10 seconds slow, but I feel it on my bicep, the whole negative of the rep, and then fire it back up. And I'll do a few cheat reps at the end swing, but the first like eight, I'm trying to just keep it super locked in. It feels really good. Good old classic barbell curls that everyone on the internet will roast you say you shouldn't fucking use a barbell because it's not optimal but feels good so fuck it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Every arm day right now. I promised myself this year I wouldn't bitch out and I would do a heavy dip or a heavy close grip bench press just to try and build some like mass in my triceps. So it's gonna be a good test this year if I have thicker triceps as opposed to just a lot of cable movements and isolation movement. A little bit more like I'm getting a little peck in here, but it allows me to move more weight. So hoping it gives me that like hang down here in my tricep. Pray for the best. naturally a very short biceps. I fish about this my whole life. So I'm trying to do a lot of hammer curls and Connie told me to do variations of under overhand grip hammer curl stuff. And lately, instead of holding the dumbbell in the middle, I've been sliding it to the top. My knuckles are like hitting the circle part of the dumbbell and it causes me to like push, rotate my wrist a little bit. And I notice I can track my like brachialis right here even more than if I'm holding the bar normally. So personally at least, I feel a little bit more of a squeeze here, so maybe I'll fill that out and look like Phil Heath. I've been saying that for five years and it's never going to happen, but I can dream.
Can you bench 225 yet? Um, I haven't tried. Maybe I should try. I thought we gave you an extended bet. I told you, uh, no, I told Rikio. I need like three months. I thought you said a year last time. Hey, but dude, I haven't worked out like I, I don't work out like I used to. Can I get back at it again? Well, you're way too hard at work now, eh? Yeah, that's our fault. It's okay. We need you in the warehouse more than we need you in the gym, so. But it's true. He's, he's, he's a valuable asset to the your, company. Your, your health and lifestyle is not important anymore. He's healthy. He's young. It's just the only thing I should worry about is stacking bum energy pallets. <laughs> Is that the color of your teeth? No, that's the case. My sister died. Oh, that's so fancy. Oh, you got a Ram? Yeah. You got a Rebel, bro. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's about time. How does it feel to actually have a V8? Feels good, to be honest. That's a great truck, eh? I oh, miss I mine. It. I still have it I in Canada, it. but I love it. He's awesome. Way better than the Mustang, for sure, though. <laughs> yeah. See, that means that you feel safe. Once you have a truck, you can't go back. Yeah, no. Especially trucks like that. I've never done these before because normally the weight stack is lower to the ground or I have to stand on a platform to curl up. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna stand back and let it stretch forward and curl from here. And it kind of gives a bit like a spider curl preacher, spider curl, hammer curl vibe to it. A little bit of a different pull because it's coming from straight instead of down. So it feels good. I'm gonna do abs to help my lower back now. That Brett, it's Brett squatting. But my glutes are tight as fuck. My abs are kind of weak from not training them. So it's causing my back to like arch hard. And when I do movements like deadlifts and shit, it fucks it up. So I'm working on it right now. Training abs and they cramp like a bitch. So I'm trying not to die right now. Is only five points? Six points. Safety Five. bar squat. Five. Uh, no, that's six. <laughs> the whole side of the gym just stopped and watched. Revive yeah. gym pays respect to heavy lifts. People who like training abs to failure are psychotic. I wonder if I'll ever not cramp like this. All right, it's gonna be wrap on. Don't show that. I'm making raw protein RGD soon, so I'm testing out the water, the new ones.
Well, that's gonna be wrap on this video. I gotta have a crowd over here watching. Um, we still need to do a full day of eating. Yeah. Um, Should we do that Friday? We can, it's just then I like, I have to film stuff on Friday, remember? That whole schedule. Yeah. But I do live three minutes away from you now, so. Exactly, whatever, we'll figure it out. But, but yeah, this is the last few weeks of my off season. That's why I wanna do a full day of eating. My brain's just working right now. Connie's gonna come down here, I think next week or in two weeks. He's gonna come, we're gonna get prep started with him being down here, just train like we fucking do. Create a game plan and get the ball rolling, so looking forward to that. Sadly, my gym won't be done by them. I don't think at least. The gym, partly with being made next week. And Hani's making a private gym too in Dallas. So we're gonna go to Dallas a month after that and then train down there. So it's just starting to come together. That that's the final part of my off season right now where I'm like peaking in strength right now, optimally. So I've been just trying to get strong for the last few months, I guess, technically. I squatted five plates on the Smith machine again, finally for 10 reps. That's a good sign for me that my legs are growing. I had been fucking killing my legs and they're coming back up, so grateful for that. But last few weeks of getting strong, then I'm gonna keep the strength high, add some volume in, and just try and get huge. So the current game plan right now, when Hani's down, we'll kind of go over how we're starting prep and all that good shit. But for now, that's all that's going on. I'm going to Miami this weekend, so I might do some filming down there if Calvin makes it. If not, it is what it is. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. Yeah.